Alright. Alright. Enough of you guys having me play arena and losing. I'll do a constructed. I'm ranked 5 right now, which is what you're aiming for if you're not aiming for legend, like which is what you should be every season. I have a bunch of decks over here. It's Reno Swag. Sensual Reno deck. I don't play... I do play Coil? Well, I could... Hmm. I play Mistress Coil. P.O. So I play Libre Combo. Um, Peddler, Doomslayer, you know, Taunt number one. That gives to Brawn, obviously. Wrath number one. Healer, uh, essentially in every Reno deck. You know, basic shit. Central Taunt number two. Central Taunt number three. Hellfire, Wrath number two. Uh, Kazakis, number one spell beside Reno. Uh, heal number two. Wrath number three. Think you're gonna make a taunt. Combo, combo, taunt. Part of making combo less. Essential card that makes the deck necessary. Not to mention, this card is fucking amazing. I got it. This, this card has changed so much in the meta. Uh, removal spell. I should really put the four mana destroy battle crystal potion in here. It actually really belongs. Uh, wrath number three and creature, awesome creature, rag. Wrath number four, Drax and giant. Who want to get rid of for battle crystal? Is it Enforcer? I really don't want it to be Enforcer. I feel like it is Enforcer. I'm not going to be able to fucking either of these. I'll get rid of Enforcer. Oops, excuse me. Yep, another non legendary. That's alright. So that's Reno. We have, like, you know, don't mind that. Uh, we have other Reno decks. This is the um, uh, Tempo Pirate. Right now, Pirates are the big thing because of patches. So you like you play at one drop, you get him automatically, you get free value. He's been doing really well. This is like the Druid version. Sometimes they don't play. Well, it seems like pretty much what they play. I guess some of them play like, you know, obviously this is the face deck version. So the others play him uh, Hex and they play um, Lightning Storm. Um, this is Cthulhu combo. Basically trying to go with Aviana. Uh, Aviana, Kuhn, Forgotten King, uh, Brawn, and essentially, like, you know, buff stuff in Cthulhu. So, you like, you know, just go off in a big old turn and then go TK them. Uh, same with Mali Kuhn, like, you know, Aviana, Kuhn, Mali Ghost, and then just go off with, like, you know, Auctioneer and, like, you know, Wraths and, like, drawing cards and, like, just essential drawing cards and dealing damage to their face. Um, there's some uh, buffed in, which is kind of fun, but this is the one I've been liking a lot. Freaking pirates, bro. I'm gonna say freaking because I don't want to, like, you know, say things over YouTube. Um, it basically just, it's the pirate thing because, you know, patches is a thing. It's very good. Uh, this card is also very good. It's a one mana, literally a one mana 3 2 in Rogue because your hero power is make a weapon, and it's a literally just, if you play this turn one, turn two, your hero power, it's a, it's a 3 2. It's just fact. Almost, almost always just happens. It automatically summons patches. It's automatically very good. So it has like these creatures, Swashbuckler, to get like you know random good RNG spells, like you know just plus one spell damage, which is good for uh, fan. Edwin is a uh, obvious shoe in to sap, to eviscerate, to tomb pillager, Azure Drake, Leroy, and to auctioneer. The main difference that um, all the lists play is that um, they either run conceal or they run um, um uh, where is it? Uh, SI. So the main thing is like I'm running Conceal over SI, which is apparently wrong because people say Conceal is the best card, people say SI is the best card. Uh, really, the best card is Patches. So without Patches, the whole deck probably fails. Actually, this is just some rogue Patches, so the whole deck's probably fine with like an auctioneer. And the new big thing is Conceal uh, Comfort, um, Counterfeit Coin. And I like counterfeit coin because it helps out Edwin, it helps out like an auctioneer, but obviously it's the dead draw with like, you know, if you just draw a bunch of spells and prep and like, you know, you don't draw any creature or threat or anything of that sort. So it's tough. It's tough. I still don't think I want to put an SI. I kind of want to put an SI, but I don't want to put an SI. I didn't want to put an SI. Uh, what would I take out? Putting out the concealers, putting an SI? Yeah, I'm going to do it, guys. I'm going to take out the concealers, put an SI. 
Let's see if that's right. All right, we'll play standard. Fucking pirates, man. All right. I only have a little bit of time before I really need to go to sleep, so let's make this quick. I guess 12.45 in the morning. And I have work in the morning, so I'm going to make this quick, because Pirates usually runs a very fast game. And my deck did not load up properly, so I'm just going to load it up properly. And the thing... It's not what I want. Put this over here quick. Uh, options... Uh, obviously this hand against Shaman is pretty bad. It doesn't have a pirate, doesn't have, like, you know, anything early that I want, so obviously you can't see it yet. I might keep Tomb Pillager. I'll keep Tomb Pillager, see how it works. Uh, but until then, let me see if I can load up the deck screen for you. There it is. Get patches. Ooh. It was probably like re it was probably like ambitious to like you know prep out the invis rate on the one drop, but like draw can be so scary, especially if you just goes like you know. Um, like, uh, the Jade Claws into a 1-1, one, one, hit my dude, hit my dude, and, like, just kill me all for free. It gets really bad. Uh, this is fine. I just get to hit that thing for free. He cleared my board. I save coin for Auctioneers later on. I'm going to start going, like, you know, probably coin Pillager into Pillager, get two more coins. Have a Doom Hammer going off. It'll be great. Roll non spell power. See? It's all good. It's all good, guys. It's all good. We drew our other eviscerate, which is not great, but it's fine. Hopefully we draw an auctioneer soon, maybe another prep. Roll again. No spell power. He might have a lightning strike. He has two cards he kept in his opener. Oh, he drew patches. We got a modem. It's almost like, you know, a mandatory thing. Like, you, if you draw patches, it's like, ha, 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 you just suck at this game, you're automatically going to lose. Okay, now what? Sure. Anything else? Still don't let me strike. No, I need to draw auctioneer. Because I just have the setup. Now I don't want to draw auctioneer because it'll be overloaded. Okay. That was expected.
Can't believe I got Doomhammer. This is actually really good. Ah, it's really bad. Right, we need to apply more pressure to him. He's applying 6 7 to us. Alright, we need to draw some cards. We need to find that auctioneer already. Got ya. Two charges left. Bring it to sixteen. Easy hit, easy go. Or get hit both. Hitting both sounds pretty good actually. No feral no no feral spirits. Alright, that's not that bad. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, let's go off. One coin. Two coin. Three coin. Four coin. Prep. Two. Two. Go ahead. There are no more viscerates in my deck. I have only burst, except for two damage off SI. Still have Van Cleef in my deck. I'm one back stab. Alright, he takes three. That's good for me. Might just be dead. Might be dead. Kinda looks dead. I wonder what I can get off this. I mean, he's dead off of Bam 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 and all this other crap. There's 14 in Blast. So let's just see what we can get. It's four, it's five, six, seven, and we have nine. So yeah, we have plenty. Wow. Okay. And we stood. GG. Back to rank four. Yay. That is essentially the matter right now. Alright. Bye guys. I'm going to sleep.